हेलो आई एम राहुल ओगले इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस वेरियस स्किल्स यूजफुल फॉर होमी भाभा प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम दैट इज लेवल टू एग्जाम अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी विल डिस्कस सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पास्ट एग्जाम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स to do the experiments you should have basic knowledge about instruments for example here i have got a spring balance and i want to find weight of the object so here this is the way i will put the object and then the correct way to hold the instrument is like this this is the proper way and this is the proper way to take the reading on the other hand i should not hold it like this this is not the correct way because the spring is not free to move over here now suppose i got this instrument and when i observe initially this cursor instead of showing 0 it is showing 25 so what should i do one is like i will immediately tell the supervisor sir i have got wrong instrument all broken instrument i have got i cannot do the experiment but this is not correct way the instrument is correct whatever you have observed is called as zero error and so zero error is always there in the instrument what you should do is first you should carefully note down the zero error and when you take the reading when you do the experiment you should remember to subtract that zero error and get the final answer while taking any measurement or any reading you must use only one eye now suppose i want to measure length of this piece with the help of scale i will hold the piece like this so zero is aligned on this side and here i am trying to take the reading like this now the scale the edge and my eye everything should be in one line and i must use one eye to take the reading and i should not take the reading like this or like this this will always give me a parallax error so remember to take the reading in the straight line now similar way suppose i want to measure volume of liquid so here i have got measuring cylinder in which there is some water and i want to measure volume of that so if i keep the measuring cylinder like this and try to take the reading like this this will not give a correct answer because parallax error what i can do be lazy be comfortable and then but this is also not correct because in order to get the correct level of the liquid this must be in horizontal surface this must be horizontal therefore correct method is you keep this on a horizontal surface you yourself move up and down bend and then come in that line and then take the reading that is the correct method very important thing is application we learn rules and concepts and laws in the theory part and now in practical you would have to apply them for example in this experiment three pieces were given and it was asked find out which is a magnet and which is iron piece now if you do the experiment you will find that they are attracting but this is also attracting so in fact all of them are attracting to each other all of them show attraction so here you should remember there is one more concept called repulsion is sure test of magnetism that means the two pieces which show attraction as well as repulsion they are certainly magnets now in this this third piece always shows attraction so let us put it here but if you see these two pieces they show attraction but if i flip the side then here i can experience that now they are repelling they are not attracting they are repelling so i am able to conclude that these two pieces are magnets whereas this one is just an iron piece while doing the experiment some common understanding is required for example you might have seen while making the dish your parents will tell add some salt now some means how much nobody will tell you okay add 3.2 grams of salt okay so it goes by judgment in the same way in the experiment it will be told take some liquid in test tube now some means how much here i have a test tube if i pull if i take all the liquid up to this level then what is the problem second step may it may say add some other liquid into that now there is no place to add and if there is some reaction some bubbling is there then all the thing will spill over so that means i am not a good experiment on the other hand if i take too little then maybe i after adding something i will not see the result so i should have a common understanding now in this case common understanding is take some liquid means around 1/4 science of measurement now this experiment was there in the past 1 rupee coins were given 10 1 rupee coins are given in the container and a scale and the question is find the thickness of one coin and explain your method 
Now one method is like you can take the coin and you start making measurement. So I am trying to measure the thickness. This is not going to give me the correct answer. The correct method is what I should do is make a stack of 10 coins like this. And then I can take the reading. So I am measuring the thickness of 10 coins. Total thickness I am measuring like this. So while noting down, I will note down the total thickness. And then I should divide the answer by 10. Then I get the value of thickness of one coin. Now when we arrange this experiment at our class, what we had done is uh, a same experiment. But instead of 10, there were 11 coins. Now what happened? Many students just took all the 11 coins and their answer was not matching. So the point is, it is our responsibility to ensure whether the setup is correct or not. The question was saying like, use given 10 coins and a scale. But the, actually there were 11 coins. So why not to quickly count and ensure that our setup is correct. Another experiment which had come in the Homi Baba exam is a tin can was given like this and a flexible tape and you were asked to measure the circumference like this. But what they had done, first part, first some piece of this tape was cut. And so the students were not having zero mark on the, any of the side of the tape. So what will you do? Don't complain. Sir, sir, my tape is broken. I can't do the experiment. Not like that. It is for you to figure out some suitable marks at 20 and take that marking as reference. So with respect to that, you measure and then from the answer, subtract that 20. So you will get the correct answer. One of our students did this all thing correctly, but he said my answer was 11 centimeter. How it is possible? 11 centimeter is very small compared to circumference. So what mistake probably was done was he measured, he took the measurement in inches, but finally wrote the answer 11 centimeter. If you find a tape here, there are marks in inches and here there are marks in centimeters. So pay attention to the units while taking any reading while doing the experiments. Follow the given instructions correctly. For example, in this experiment, carbon dioxide gas bubbles are expected to come out and students were asked to hold a moist litmus paper over the crucible like this. Many students, rather than holding it like this, they dip the litmus paper into the solution. Now in science, these two are completely different things. When you are holding the litmus over, you are checking the property of the gas which is coming out. Whereas if you dip the litmus paper in the solution, you are checking the property of the solution and not of the gas. So follow the instructions carefully. While doing the experiment, it is very important to make a plan of your actions in your mind. What you are going to do and how you are going to do that. In the same carbon dioxide experiment, the instruction said that you have to add few drops of water and at the same time you have to hold the moist litmus paper on the top of it. So you should note it down that you have to first dip this litmus into water and make it moist so that it is ready. And then with the other hand, you add the water. Otherwise, what happens? Many times students will start doing the experiment with great enthusiasm. They will first take dry powders. Then they will take the dropper and add water. Then the bubbles will come very nicely. They will observe. Wow, nice experiment. When all the bubbles are gone and the reaction is silent, then they read the next line. Okay, hold the moist litmus paper. And then they will search the litmus paper, then they will make it moist and then they will hold it on the top. By that time, all the gas is gone out. So what result you will get? Therefore, make an action plan ready. Observation skills. Sometimes in Homi Baba exam, there is no experiment for you to perform, but lot of weightage is there, how you observe the things and what you conclude from that. For example, this experiment was there. Two white color powder samples were given and they were heated. Now you should carefully observe that one of the sample develops white color fumes and then it becomes slightly cloudy. That means it is a sublimable substance. So observation will carry lot of importance. This is one more example. Here a transparent solution was given and you were asked to add a drop of phenolphthalein. Then Students were asked to blow air in it with the help of a straw for around two minutes. The question was, write your observations. Now, if you do the experiment, the pink color will of course vanish and you will get this type of solution. Most of the students will correctly note that pink color 
is vanished and solution becomes colorless. That is correct. But have you observed that solution has also become milky? Initially it was transparent. Now it has become milky. Now why this has happened is very correct. That lime becomes milky due to carbon dioxide. So the point is you should note the observations very carefully and it carries a lot of weightage. For biology there is no actual experiment. Biology experiments are based on observation. You cannot do something like plant a seed and then observe that it will grow, then find out the root and leave. That is not possible. So the practical for biology is based on observation. While preparing, you observe the things around you. Food grains, for example, cereals, pulses, all type of dals, the spices which are used at your home. Try to make yourself aware about it. Are you able to identify the thing? If there is any specific modification from biological point, like food storing root, or reproductive leaf, then you have to you are supposed to note it down. Observe all these things and learn to identify them. Learn about medicinal plants, oil seeds, vegetables which are available in the market, and all commonly found things which are there in your surrounding. Visit the fish market if possible. Give visit to the normal vegetable market, grocery shop, and learn all the things. Go with your parents. Revision of the theory is very essential. For example, we have pH paper. In the experiment, pH paper was given, you have to dip it into the solution and it became light green. And the question was, identify the nature of the solution, what will be its pH value. So here you cannot answer this unless you have studied this and you remember this. That green color pH paper means it indicates that 7 pH value and it indicates that solution is neutral. So the point is, make a brief revision of such points and then only you will be able to do the experiments. Now in Homi Bhava practical exam, some weightage will be there for doing part, but lot of weightage is there how you write the answers. If you only observe, conclude, but don't write all the answers, that will carry you very low weightage. Therefore, pay attention to the answer writing part. Here many points will be applicable. While writing the answers, try to be specific to the point, short and scientific answers. Do not write long essays. For example, don't write something like, I took phenolphthalein and then I added it in solution A and then I observed that it is pink and therefore I correctly concluded that it is basic. Don't write like that. You just write very specific. Phenolphthalein turned pink. Therefore, solution A is basic. If possible, try to include the keywords. For example, neutralization or repulsion is sure taste of magnetism. Something like this. That will tell the examiner that you have understood what you are writing. So your answer should show that you have understood the thing which you are talking about. Always pay attention to the units. Answer without unit carry zero marks and very bad impression. For example, if you write perimeter is equal to 20. This is a very bad answer. 20 watt, 20 kilogram, 20 meter, 20 light years, 20 millimeter, 20 watt. So never do this thing. Always make a habit to include a correct unit and pay attention to that. Ensure that you write neat and clean answers. Your final answer should be clearly visible. Do not overwrite, do not scratch and then on the top of that change it answer. If you need to change, you cut the answer completely and in the next line you again write the answer in bold, loud and clear. Pay attention to the question. Try to understand exactly what is asked and then start answering. For example, this piece was given. First question was find the perimeter of the piece. So that is pretty straightforward. You measure the length, dimension and find the perimeter. The second question was if this blue square is cut, what will be the change in the perimeter? So what happens? Many times students do not read the word change carefully. What do they do? They imagine that the piece is cut. Very nicely they will calculate and they write new perimeter is equal to this, this, this centimeter. But here you should remember that the change in perimeter is asked, not the final value. So you should write perimeter will increase by so and so centimeter or perimeter will decrease by so and so centimeter. Very important thing while doing the experiment is your positive approach. We want to do the experiment. We want to take the readings. We want to come to the conclusion. And our intention is not to prove that therefore it is impossible to do the experiments. Therefore I can't do. That is not what we want to do. You want to do the experiment. So remember that. For 9th standard, a spoon was given in physics 
and the scale was given and it was asked that hold the spoon at 30 centimeter distance from your eye approximately and then you have to observe your face with one eye on the inside face and then the outside face and then various questions were there basically it was about like concave surface concave mirror and convex mirror these all things were there one boy got the spoon but the scale was not there so what he did he immediately complained that i don't have the scale and then a big search was organized for the scale two three pews were running here and there then they searched two three cupboards one person went from one room to the other room and then after eight minutes the scale arrived but then only two minutes time was left he was able to do the experiment but there was no time to write the answer right so what you could have done maybe like this is one more way to think. Now, nobody is going to put one end of the scale in the eye and second at exactly at 30. That is not what you are expected to do. Maybe you take out your scale in your compass box. It is 15. So, you take 15 and then 15 and approximately 30, you hold a spoon. You do the observation. You write all the answers, complete the experiment and then you ask for the scale. So, that if the scale comes, you will be able to recheck again. So, the point is try to do the experiment. No, don't go in the mode of complaining. One more example, a plant like spring onion kind of a plant was kept, not exactly spring onion, similar species. And the question was, identify the part which is reduced. Now here do not complain. How can I answer the question? I don't know this plant. The plant is not asked. What is asked is identify the part which is reduced. Now when you see the plant, it is similar to a spring onion. You can very nicely see the leaves. So leaves are certainly not reduced, they are functional. Roots are also visible in the onion. So they are also not reduced. So which is the part which is reduced? Obviously the stem. And then you can remember in the onion, if you cut the onion, at the center there is a brown color portion which is the stem of the onion. The part which we eat is the bulb which is the food storing leaves. And therefore even without knowing exactly name of that species you can still correctly answer the question that stem is the part which is reduced so approach is absolutely important if you are preparing for homi baba exam we do three things which will be very useful to you one is we have this science kit called do and discover science kit it will provide you a lot of useful materials to do the experiment at home second is we conduct online class and third is we have developed android app called mprax Free part of this is available on Google Play. If you want to know any of these things, you are most welcome to contact us. So in this video, we have discussed many skills useful for the practical exam along with many examples. Take this exam as a good opportunity to learn all these skills. Try to develop these skills and be a good experimenter. I hope this information was useful to you. Bye-bye.